is an answer to that. It may have been slippery. But what it is is halftime. Quando Hearts of Lions lead by a goal to nil. The game, there is still a lot to play for. And no doubt about it, Corsa and the goalkeeper will be looking to bounce back in the second half. It's 1-0 at the break to Hearts of Lions. Welcome back. Francis Agbaibo, Black Gates, and Josiah Okokwe are both here. Guys, let's go straight to business end. Very enterprising and entertaining, as we expected. Babayara always allows teams to play. And we've seen expressive end-to-end -end football with chances for both sides. Yeah, definitely. You look at this game, it's been explosive, especially from the away team, Hearts of Lions. They play some brilliant patterns, build up from the back, the base of the team, deep into central midfield. They try to carve hearts of folk open at premium on countless occasions. What was lacking out of their play was that, that kind of killer instinct player to put the ball at the back of the net. They, they kept half and puffing here and there. Hearts of folk saw all the danger, but they didn't hit the, to it. At the end of the day, deep at the dying and base of the game, hearts of Lions managed to conjure that right thing that was missing from their game. All the time, in that first half, they played the best football, created the better chances. And right at the stroke of halftime, Mustafa Yakubu, for once, put his laces through the ball, got deflected. And the goalkeeper, Richard Atta, should have done better on that particular occasion. In terms of his handling, he was suspect on that occasion. He should have done better. And the ball zoomed to the back of the net, giving the away team the one goal lead heading into halftime. But Coach Batshiru Hayford would be the happiest person because hearts of folk were always going to play themselves back into this game at a point in time. And would have been a worried man because at that particular time, hearts of Lions were playing the better football and they were not clinical. And at the, at the, at the right time, hearts of folk will come back into this game. The game is not over. But if we zoom straight into discussions properly, you see where hearts of Lions were lacking, especially Kwesi Pong. The chap spotted number 28 jersey. On 29 minutes and 31 minutes, he, he squandered glaring chances and should have done better on that occasion. But as to our hearts of folk, with this number of quality midfielders on the pitch, couldn't cope with the tempo of the game. Hearts of Lions, like, played the better patterns, carved them open at premium, leaves much to be desired. And Coach Watara should be a very worried man this evening. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, Josiah, you have to give credit to... Uh, the Pando lads for not, you know, the fear of opening up too much against a very fluid Hearts of Oak. We've not seen Hearts play this kind of good football in some time and, and you'd be worried to open up too much. But they've sort of put caution to the wind and they've, they've opened up and they're playing. Yeah, you know, and, you know, before the commencement of the game, Bashir Hayford spoke about the fact that they are okay riding on that under um, the tag, they, they, they feel okay when they are playing against the powerhouses, you know, with less pressure on them. And yeah, you, you, you'll you be happy when you're playing against Heart of Folk when they are not being, you know, explosive, when they are not playing with any sense of urgency, when they are allowing you to keep your shape, when they are not being very, very quick in transition and all that. And, you know, I'm, I'm just disappointed in how Heart of Oak have, have played in, in the first half, considering the fact that a couple of days ago, they played against James FC in similar condition. Yeah, so at least you, you've, you've played 90 minutes of, you know, tough, very, very demanding football just a few days ago. Yeah, that's enough to prep you going into a game like this with similar conditions. And we can see the weather. It's not even raining as it rained days ago when they played against Dreams FC. And you're playing home. You're at the home side. Yes, technically you're playing home and away from home. But yeah, you're playing as the home side. There's a lot at stake for you. And I, I've just not been convinced about how half of folk has played, you know, th this evening. They've not been convincing even in the, in the, in the third half. They, they've, they've struggled to keep, you know, the shape of the team whenever they advance into what they are attacking Ted, you know, in this particular first half. And, you know, kudos to Heart of Lions for keeping their shape, for being tactically disciplined, for not giving away too many fouls in and around in the 18-yard box, you know, for just making Heart of Oak toil and work so hard, you know, to even try and what, and test their goalkeeper, Kwabna Osai. You can count the number of shots on target Heart of Oak has recorded already in the first 45. Just a handful. They've not even tested Thomas Osai. And you this know, was a very interesting chance. If he had been smarter, he may have been tempted to go down. But, know. but it, it was the smartest of moves or, you know, decisions from Bethy because at that point, Kasim Cissé was in an offside position. Any attempt to have played that between, just look at Cissé's run. You know, the, the defender point, was just, just inches away from giving yeah, away a penalty. He was in an offside position. Just look at CC. Alone. So any attempt to have 
pass that ball to CC <laughs> would have just been an offside. So he decided to go for the cutback, just square it towards an all rushing teammate. But then also Salif Ibrahim it was a disappointing, you know, effort from him. I just don't know if it's just lack of concentration for Heart of Oak. I just can't tell what is really wrong with that because, you know, they, they've had some decent half chances. And then again, you can start talking about the fact that maybe Kasim Sise is missing, you know, the partnership, that partnership with their, their top scorer, Hamza Issa, already. Because we've seen how they are playing. They are playing with the diamond, you know, at some point. Then they, they, they switch to a 4-3-3, where you have Befi playing at the right-hand side, and then Salif Ibrahim also playing from the left-hand side with Kasim Sisi playing through the middle. Okay, let's so take a look at... Yeah, sorry. Let's take a look at the goal. What caused the goal? Was it you know, a right call by the referee and then the result? And so here it is. It was quite a clumsy it's challenge. A it's a foul. Yeah, it's a foul. Glido Tanga should have seen this coming. Because Agbesima basically had Mustafa Yakubu under check. For you to go in like this, it's clumsy. And the referee, you don't fault the referee. And you could tell from here, Agbesima wasn't happy even with the tackle in the first place. Because at that particular point in time, Mustafa Yakubu. Unnecessary. Unless he wasn't going anywhere. And now, you know, the, the theft, the theft, make no mistake, the theft is slippery. The ball can deflect, and when the ball deflects, it can take any different direction. So here, and the goalkeeper's gloves are wet. Let's take a look at organization and Atta's challenge. He <laughs> was trying to get his war in shape. So yeah, watch yeah. carefully. Yeah, I was about to say something. In football, when you play and you are getting the chance, you're not scoring, you need to get someone to do something if you play football before. And before this kick, if the producer can drag it back a little, you realize that number 36 shirt jersey, Atta Kusi, Went into the goalpost of Hearts of Folk and shook the, the, the net. He, he went, actually did that. He shook the net. He shook the net. For what? It's, it's football language. And lo and behold, the ball hit the back of the net. Okay, let, 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 let's go back and do some analysis. Here. Apart from the, 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 the net yeah. shaking, it's <laughs> shenanigans. Yeah, 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 he yeah, played yeah, football I, I, before. Okay. Look, uh, look, uh, here. Uh, look uh, at him. Uh, look. Uh, 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 look at the time. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Wait, He's the there. shape. Look at him. Yeah. He should have got a yellow card. That's one. And secondly, <laughs> the shape of the wall. Atta was still, if you watch, trying to tell them. You can't just go and shake the nets. I mean, for what? It's a yellow card. It happens yeah, but, in association it's, football. It's, but it shouldn't be allowed to happen. It's, it's the concentration level for me. Yeah. That's what watch the I'm wall. Most watch the wall. About. You see, the, the referee yeah. was even asking him, why did you go to do that on the frozen screen? Look. Oh, we are now with the card and manner. <laughs> <laughs> to send a warning to yeah, the if, other if, players. If, yeah, that says the rules. But then, yeah, let, let's look at, let's take a look. The referee can use his discretion. Of course, at this point, he can. What but if then, he had done that and another Hearts player had gone to attack him in the ring? That would have in, also in the, resulted in, in something different. Yeah, you're right. But then, I think, I, I have Did zero, the do I the have job? zero, zero, you know, objections with regards to the war. I don't have any objections with the war because it was carefully you know, as a creature. It was constructed carefully by the goalkeeper. He had about close to one minute to construct this wall. Yeah. Now, you wouldn't say it, didn't, it, it was, it was, I, I'm not sure it took a deflection because I it was just it on it it part. Let, let, let's watch. It looks like they opened, the wall opened up a, a little bit. In the process of jumping, you, you could say it just split a bit. So that allowed the ball to what? To go through. Yeah. This is my problem. I'm counting the number of games where Heart of Oak have failed to keep their concentrations level very, very high or at, at the premium best. Yeah. Their visit to Abrankes when they played against Nations FC. When they played against Gold Stars in the 85th minute. Against Kotoko. Against Heart of Lions this evening. So, yeah, this is a yeah, better look. See it if so, it's deflected. It, it's actually deflected off the no, wall. No, it, it should move. Then you... you yeah. There's... You see? Just no, a little he, bit. It was did. a little he, bit of he, deflection he, over there. If it was, it would it, have it, gone it, higher. It, it, no, the, the ball got the, deflected. The, you, could see, you could see the direction of the ball changing pace. You know, but then Atta should be doing better because it was within, you know, Yao. His, his, he, it was very like close to him. Just look at that. A slight deflection. No, but Yao, it was close to well, him. Yeah, but Regardless but if it's a Josiah, deflection, Josiah, it Josiah. was very, very close to his fingertips. And he should be dealing with this ball. Guys, like, quick give, give me a minute. The, the, you know, before the show, we started and Nanaya Asante Fobi says it will be 2-1 against Heart of Oak. No, he says the answer is Heart of Oak. Sunny <laughs> Black, 2-0 in favour of the Phobians. Obviously, that's not going to happen. So, Henry Fayol Naughty, 3 0 for Hearts. Charles Barfour, 2 1 in favor of Hearts of Oak. Sammy Black, the answer is Hearts of Oak. Evans Bacha, Phobia will win by 4 0. 
Rashad Ginola, Hanson Papino, all the, all the, without a doubt, Phobia Princess, 3-1 to Hearts, um, Bismarck, APJ, Boedu, 3-1 to Hearts, Emmanuel Mensah, 2-1 to Hearts. So not a single person. But we're here, second half, let's link to commentary at Barbera. At the Barbera Sports Stadium, here is Ampedu for Hearts of Oak. 